1.4 Model Tenancy Act 2021. So this topic is in news because recently the four states that is Andhra Pradesh, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh and Assam revised the tenancy laws. Now let's know about the Tenancy Act 2021. So as per 2011 census, nearly 1.1 crore houses were lying vacant. So to improve the process of renting and forward the vision of Housing for All by 2022, there is a central government vision. The government has come up with the Model Tenancy Act 2021. It was approved under the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. This Model Tenancy Act come under the state list and of the 7th schedule of the constitution. So, the Model Tenancy Act is not binding upon the state and the states can make changes in the act and regulate it. Before this act, we had East Punjab Urban Rent Regula uh, Restriction Act 1949. We had East Punjab Urban Rent Restriction Act 1949 and replacing this act model tenancy act came up in the year 2021 so the jammu and kashmir became the first union territory to adopt this modern tenancy act so now let's look into this uh, look into some of the key provisions of this act so the first thing is this act is applicable to all the residential commercial or educational use but it will not cover for industrial use, hotels, lodging houses, inns, etc. And the next thing is, as per the tenancy agreement, all the premises shall be rented only after a written agreement and should be informed to the rent authority within two months. The tenancy period can be renewed for or extended upon the request of the tenant and if the tenant fails to vacate the premises after the completion of the tenancy period, he has to pay twice the monthly rent for the first two months and four times monthly rent till he occupies the premises. The security deposit should be a maximum of two months rent for residential properties and for non-residential properties it should be a minimum of six months rent. And the next is the agreement will be done with the consent of the landlord and no structural change change should be done by the tenants without the written consent of the landlord and there is a three tier redressal system <coughs> remember this is important the first thing is um, the rent authority next is rent court and the last one is the rent tribunal and these will work to solve the problems regarding the tenancy and the rent authority and the rent courts are appointed by the district collector with the approval of state government. Remember, it is appointed by the district collector. Even though we have the panchayat systems under 73rd, panchayat and municipal systems under 73rd and 74th amendment act, it is under the control of the district collector and the district high courts also. And the rent tribunal, um, sorry here uh, the rent authority and the rent uh, rent courts are appointed by district collector with the approval of the state government and the state government after consulting the high court may establish the rent tribunal in each district so all these are at the district level that means the rent authority and rent court are appointed by the district collector and the rent tribunal is established after the permission is granted by the high court and it is present in each district thus for the speedy disposal or uh, you know speedy solution of the cases this three tier redressal system has been established and the landlord cannot ask the tenant to evict the residents or you know to vacant the residence as per his own wish the landlord can apply to the rent authority upon the conditions. So these are the four conditions which he can apply. First thing is if the renter fails to pay the rent for more than two months or refuse to pay the agreed rent. Next is if the tenants misuse the premises. And the third is if they use the residence more than prescribed, then the landlord can ask the renter or apply to the rent authority to vacate his house. 
so all these are the terms and conditions of model tenancy act 2021 next now let's uh, know about the issues of this model tenancy act so the act covers even the small details like white washing um, of walls and doors geyser repairs etc where the tenant or you know the landlord might feel less interested in making the agreements next is to solve the tenant landlord issues the new authority called rent authority was created there they have to go and complain against the tenant or landlord and then the case will be forwarded to the tribunals which are under the district administration the rent authority and tribunals and the process involved remains still confusing and instead of keeping tribunals under urban local body which was established under the 74th constitutional amendment act the tribunals are kept under the district administration so there is a lack of equal access like the rent conditions and they differ from the formal sectors to the informal sectors so this uh, the act failed to protect the rental discrimination which is experienced by the bachelors unmarried couples non vegetarians dalits regional minorities transgender persons etc still this act did not cover all them so these uh, the bachelors unmarried couple non vegetarians dalits regional minorities transgenders don't have protection under this act so this act is not binding of nature that means the state can repeal or change the act at any time so these actions may be promoting the invalidity of the act so what are the uses of this model tenancy act how can it promote development let's look into this figure here so here it balances the right of the tenants and landlords by giving equal importance to both of them so both the tenant and landlord get equal importance and next is it creates the rental housing market for all income groups it boosts private participation for addressing huge housing shortage it brings rental housings into the legal market it promotes investments and also entrepreneurship or opportunities so even the other initiatives that are taken for taken by the government for affordable housing are first is under pradhan mantri awas yojana urban the ministry of housing and urban affairs has initiated affordable renting housing complexes that is arhcs for the urban and poor migrants and the next is under this pradhan mantri awas yojana urban only low income groups and middle income group group categories will be given pakka houses to all eligible candidates by 2022 and the third is global housing technology challenge so this was introduced under the ministry of housing and urban affairs where innovative construction technologies from all over the world are used for building sustainable eco friendly and disaster resilient houses so now let's look into the way forward so the government should meet the needs of the tenants and also the economic interests of the landlords so there should be a balanced approach and the next is they should support the private participation for uh, housing and affordable renting houses to tenants and bringing down the vacancy of renting houses and the next is they should keep a check on the rising rental prices frequently there should be a cooperative federalism where the needs of the tenants owners and the state are addressed and ensure that there is an overall development